What's happening YouTube? We are here today because our intern Aiden has done a phenomenal job. And you know what? We thought we'd give him a little bit of a bonus, a hundred dollar bonus for the week, but we want him to invest it. This is Aiden. And I'm pretty sure he approves of this video. I approve. We're going to help our intern invest those funds and we're going to use Raise as the platform to do so. There are many reasons why we're using Raise and I hope this video helps you identify why. When you initially set up the Raise account, it's going to ask you a serious question. Your employment, um, your approximate net wealth, your investment horizon, and your reason for investing. And the reason it's doing that, it's to assess your risk. It's going, okay, based on this person, how much risk are they willing to take? How much money should they have in growth assets? For example, growth assets being Australian shares, international shares, and how much money should they have in defensive assets? Defensive assets being, for example, cash, fixed interest, bonds. And the reason for that is, depending on your time frame, it's trying to assume how much risk you're able to take when it comes to volatility. Now, obviously we're gonna find out why it's asking these questions, but we're gonna assume because it's trying to allocate a portfolio for your pre-built portfolio based on the answers. So employment, student, approximate net wealth, less than 10K. When it comes to the stock market, or when it comes to investing, usually the longer you are in the market, the more risk you can take. And the reason behind that is growth assets such as Australian shares and international shares have something called volatility. What that means is if we look at a stock chart, depending on time, they can actually go down. For example, if you're planning on using raise for a holiday, you'll notice that the first question is less than five years, not less than three months or one year. So if you're saving for something short term, raise might not be the platform to do so. Now it's asking to select a portfolio. So it says Raise has constructed seven pre-built diversified portfolios with a range of risk and return profiles, which assist you in setting up your account to begin investing. Alternatively, you can also choose to build your own personalized portfolio from 14 ETFs, exchange traded funds, and Bitcoin. That's right, ASIC crypto. Before we actually get into the portfolios being conservative, moderately conservative, moderate, moderately aggressive, aggressive, and then they've got a few others. Let's explain asset allocation. Asset allocation is essentially a tool which lets you control your risk. Nothing more, nothing less. It doesn't control your return because the market does that. And no one knows what it's going to do but it essentially controls your risk. What asset allocation is a discussion and a choice of how much of your money you put in growth assets, being things like Australian shares, international shares, property. Yes, property is a growth asset. And how much money you put in defensive assets. Defensive assets being cash, fixed interest, government bonds. So although growth assets over a long period of time historically have a higher rate of return, they also have a higher rate of volatility, meaning that can, they, they can go up and down. With a defensive asset, it's exactly that. What it's doing is it has a low rate of return, but also a low rate of volatility. The simplest example is a savings bank account. If you put $100 into a savings bank account, you're most probably gonna walk out with $100 and a little bit of interest. If you've set up a raise account, it might be extremely hard for you to understand which portfolio to pick. And then there's even creating your portfolio, which might be even harder because you have to choose which ETF you want and how much you put in it. One, you need to understand when you want to cash this money out. What is your end goal? What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to begin an investment portfolio or are you trying to grow your money into a certain amount over a certain amount of time? And if those are the questions that you're asking yourself, let me know in the comments and I will answer those questions in another video. I know Aiden's goals, needs and objectives. He's young, he's in an accumulating stage of his life. He can afford to put aside 5% on anything he earns. He has no interest in crypto at this point in time because he doesn't have an understanding of it. And he's got money in the bank account, 
but he wants a larger division and a larger allocation towards growth assets over a longer period of time. Now, the difference between the building your own portfolio and the pre-created portfolios is cost. And because he doesn't have a lot of money to invest initially, in this example, $100, and he might not even have a lot of money to consistently invest, the aggressive portfolio is something that's going to suit him. We've had the discussion. He understands that his $100 might turn into 80, 50, 40, but historically, over a longer period of time, five, seven, 10, 20 years, that portfolio has grown more than the more conservative ones. And he's looking for growth, he's looking for longevity, so he picks the aggressive portfolio. Now, in order for you to understand these investments better, you need to understand the underlying assets, what ETFs are inside, which index funds are inside. And if you want to understand that, the best way to do that is to like and subscribe because if this video gets a thousand views, we will break down every single little piece of raise so you can potentially take all of that information and even build your own portfolio. Dear ASIC, just to let you know that this video has been created to provide general advice. However, in saying that, all of the strategies, all of the examples that we provide are things that we vouch for in a business and use every single day. In saying that, that does not mean that it's right for you. I don't understand your individual goals, needs, objectives, not ASIC, the person watching this, right? So don't just go and do something because you saw it. Do the right thing, do the research, and ensure that it fits your goals, needs, and objectives.